So when I call this a flagship smartphone, what would you expect? Top of the line specs, right? So what do you really get with the Realme X2 Pro? Let's dig into what this phone features. This packs the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor and comes with at least 8GB of RAM. This means that you get tremendous gaming performance and even if you're a heavy multitasker, this should have you covered. Paired with that, if you're a gamer, Realme also packs in a 90Hz display over here. So, this literally makes this the cheapest phone you can get with a 90Hz display. That's not all. To top that off, Realme even offers UFS 3.0 storage. Well, if you're someone who shoots a lot of video content or just likes to store a lot of games on your phone, this ensures that you have much faster data transfer speeds than a standard UFS 2.1. The X2 Pro comes with a 50W Superbook charger in the box, which means that you can actually top the battery up from 0 to 100 in just over half an hour. While I can vouch for the speed, what I can't help but mention is how warm the phone gets while you're charging it. Now let's talk about the cameras. The Realme X2 Pro features the same setup we saw on the more budget-oriented Realme XT which launched earlier this year. This means that you get a 64 megapixel primary shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 12 megapixel 2x telephoto lens, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. While you will notice some stunning looking shots in well-lit scenarios, the camera completely falls apart in low light. While shooting photos indoors, you will notice the camera adding a whitish haze-like filter to the photos. This results in much lesser sharpness than what you would expect otherwise. The phone does a very good job with video though. The Realme X2 Pro shoots crisp 4K 60fps video and even though there's no OIS here, the EIS here really does a good job even at 60fps. So is the Realme X2 worth it? Well, for 30,000 bucks, this is probably the flagship killer that you've been waiting for.